So yeah, it's good. It feels good to be here. Last session, closing remarks. Just a few things, actually. Um, the slides are coming. Uh, really just a few things from us, uh, mostly to say Still up? Back again. Okay, so I was really excited. I think it was, a, from my perspective, a great event. Uh, we had fun. Of course, we were nervous how this will go, but uh, I think today we are more relaxed. Started to relax yesterday, actually, I, I believe. Uh, it was really nice. There was a big crowd. Uh, the lecture room is still full on the last day, which is nice. I think we had uh, fantastic keynotes, all three of, all three of them. We had uh, really nice oral sessions. Um, I enjoyed the long talks, but I also thought the spotlights worked really well. Uh, and at least the feedback we got was um, that people enjoyed this. So three minutes seems to be enough to get the gist of a paper and to get like uh, maybe stimulated uh, discussions at the posters. So I hope this worked. Uh, if, you, if you don't agree or if you agree, uh, let us know um, because uh, I mean, we can change things as well or we can keep it as it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the social events from the first night drinks reception and the uh, gala event yesterday. This was the turnout for the Hyde Park run. This is at 7 a.m. On, uh, on Tuesday morning. Uh, I believe this was before. Um, but this was fantastic, so I think people enjoyed this as well. Um, thanks, for, thanks for joining that. Uh, huge thanks to many people who you wouldn't see. They are behind the curtains. Um, obviously, we had a lot of helpers. Uh, thanks to our local people helping us, finances, helping with like little things. Uh, it's, it's really important. Thanks to Imperial Venues. Um, I think they did a great job. Thanks to the accommodation people, so people who stayed on site. The people I spoke to were all quite happy. I mean, these were student dorms. I, I didn't know what to expect. I stayed there for the first time myself. I, I was positively impressed. Um, there are many others who helped. Uh, big thanks to Open Review. Uh, so Pam is here just a representative of, of a big team uh, behind Open Review. They, um, they helped us a lot through the, uh, through the review process. Um, and, and I mean, we are, um, our middle stands for being open and we, we, we are advocates of, of using Open Review. Reviews should be, should be open, the, the author comment should be there. And they helped us really with, with their system. Um, and it, it needs improvements, but I, I think we'll get there over time. Thanks to the AV team up there. You don't see them, but I think they did a fantastic job. There were, there were, there were no, no, no glitches at all in the slides. So thanks. Quick applause. <laughs> the slides were all, all, always there. Now, now that they are listening, um, there, there might be a video at the end uh, which has sound. <laughs> uh, I thought. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I, d I don't know if that's still possible to, to enable. Um, thanks to the uh, last year's organizers, uh, Bram, Max, Ivana, Clara, Gerd. Uh, they were a fantastic support for over the last 12 months to uh, help us to, uh, I hope, uh, at least keep the level of, of last year's middle. Thanks for that. Thanks to our many helpers, all the people with green shirts. M maybe you can stand up for a moment, please. Everyone, helper. Oh, everyone has a green T-shirt. Please stand up. Please, come. <laughs> Many thanks, all, uh, all volunteers. Tom wants to take over. Um, no, I was just saying, uh, while we're at standing uh, people and applauding, I think we can also ask all the ACs and all the people who, uh, who acted as reviewers uh, to really support the conference. Uh, so if you could just stand up to see, to see you all. All the ACs around. Yes, <laughs> ACs, reviewers. <laughs> Excellent, good. Okay, and of course, once again, thank all our sponsors. They, they helped to make, make this happen. So once more, thanks to all the sponsors. Okay, so that's more or less from our side. There's still one highlight coming up now. There will be still the best poster awards. Uh, before doing this, we uh, still owe the Best Paper Award winners and runner up some certificates. This will be all handed out now. And uh, I ask Eugenio and Andreas Heinel from Chiron up to the stage for this. Thanks.
Thank you, Ben. Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, well, as you, as you know, I believe these decisions, uh, the best paper award decisions were made by uh, a little committee formed by uh, Marlene de Braun, who was here a second ago, <laughs> I guess she's gone, and Herbe Lombard and myself. Uh, they were announced on, on Monday, so there is nothing exciting coming up right now. Um, but the, uh, and yes, I'd like to, where is, oh yeah, Andreas, thank you very much to, to Kyron and uh, for generously supporting these awards. Um, so like I said, no news here. Um, the, there were two runner-up papers. One was uh, adversarial pseudo-healthy synthesis needs pathology factorization. So is uh, Tian here? Or any of the authors? Sotos was here. Okay. Please come up. Please come up. <laughs> Don't be shy. Eh? The other runner-up was uh, boundary loss for highly unbalanced segmentation. Uh, do we have any of the? Yeah, and the best paper award uh, was to uh, exploring local rotation invariance in 3D CNNs with uh, streetable filters. So is uh, Vincent here or any of the other authors? Ah. And uh, again, let's, uh, we need to thank Kyron for the, again, generously supporting this. There is actually a cash price of 700 pounds. So, do you know, do you know who's paying for beer tonight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the best poster award, that was a bit different. Uh, actually, the, the Chiron folks did a fantastic job. They did all the heavy lifting. They went through all the posters and uh, came up with a short list uh, of uh, four of them. And then the, the, the committee with uh, Marlene, uh, Hervé and myself, we had a little meeting with them and also with Ben. Uh, and we came up with, um, we first like, came up with like two papers. Uh, one of them is the runner-up, and the other one is the winner. So let's go through that. Uh, this is the short list I mentioned. So if you are in there, you can be nervous now. <laughs> Not for long, though. And uh, yeah, for the so the, the runner-up uh, paper, well, poster in this case is uh, this paper: weekly supervised deep nucleus segmentation using points annotation in histopathology images. I believe Dimitris mentioned the first author had visa problems and couldn't make it, but it's Dimitris. Anyone else here? We don't have any of the authors. Let's run the list here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
All right. And uh, the best poster award goes to Thomas Debell and his paper on stain transforming cycle consistent GANs for improved segmentation of renal histopathology. <laughs> Thomas here or here? No, Thomas is here. Yay. <laughs> you mentioned the prize. Yeah. And again, there is also a cash prize for this. So yeah, thank uh, Kyron for this again. And that's uh, 500 pounds. Uh, nice. <laughs> that's a hundred per author. Uh, cool. So thank you. So thanks again. Congratulations to all winners again. Just, just a piece of advice, make sure you spend those pounds before Brexit. <laughs> yes, so now it's time for what's coming next. Ismail, please come up stage. All right, so uh, uh, now I feel the pressure. Uh, I can totally uh, see the smile on, uh, and the relaxed face today of uh, Tom and Ben, uh, much more relaxed than Monday. So they are throwing the burden uh, on us today. Uh, so, uh, and more so because, uh, because of the fantastic job that uh, uh, the middle 2019 team uh, has done. Uh, all by themselves to, to the tiny levels of detail. So let's first start by giving them uh, a huge, a huge uh, uh, round of applause. <laughs> so, so yes. Uh, uh, it's coming to Montreal. I guess uh, uh, it's happening. Uh, there is no coming back. So, um, uh, so uh, uh, just a little bit of background. Uh, 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 I think uh, uh, when I got the advertisement for the first middle, um, uh, my initial thought was, yes, this is so much needed, uh, an open review conference for, for medical image analysis. And uh, we just have two top conferences in medical image analysis, and we are missing one, much like computer vision has three, machine learning has, uh, has three. So I went to Middle, and uh, he was impressed by the organization. Uh, and they had this coffee break discussion with Marlene. Uh, fortunately, she just left. Uh, she was here. Uh, and we were saying, OK, why not Montreal? Uh, and I was hesitating. So Marlene encouraged me uh, a lot. Uh, and thanks, Marlene, uh, by the way. Um, uh, and then here we go. So uh, uh, we went back home to Montreal and we put uh, together uh, a, a, a good mix of, uh, of folks uh, from, uh, from Mikai uh, and from machine learning across uh, different institutions uh, in Canada and also uh, in Europe. Um, uh, and, uh, and yeah, so uh, dates are fixed. Uh, it will be uh, from the 6th uh, of July till uh, the 8th. Uh, uh, and that's, that's a very uh, good time uh, of the year in Montreal. Uh, so uh, you will have, for instance, the Jazz Festival, the famous Jazz Festival just one week before, in case, uh, in case you want to come uh, there with, with a great, uh, uh, great outdoor uh, um, uh, shows, uh, some of them are free. Uh, and the venue is secure too, uh, so it will be uh, the Palais of uh, des Congrès. Maybe some of you know uh, about this venue already. So uh, it's really in a very good location in between the Old Port, which is one of the uh, main attractions of Montreal and, uh, uh, and, the, and downtown, walking distance. Uh, so we have, uh, we have a very intimate space. Uh, 
somewhere between 600 and uh, 800 people because we believe uh, the conference is still growing. Uh, but we will still keep uh, you know, the number of papers accepted maybe similar to this year. Uh, and uh, we also have some nice rooftop, uh, like what you see here uh, on the right side, uh, that we will enjoy with a view of the city uh, and with Montreal firework maybe that we can uh, see during uh, middle next year. Uh, so uh, I think this is pretty much it. So the deadlines and the dates, the important dates. Uh, so uh, next year, uh, full papers and abstract uh, will be together uh, and it will be around the end of uh, January. Okay. So. Um, so yeah, if you have some great work, then uh, you'll have a chance to submit it uh, early uh, in the year and get some feedback. You don't have to wait for the uh, other top conference of the field in March, right? So, um, uh, but, uh, and, and notification is, is the beginning of April. But I, I really believe in this because uh, uh, in my team, for instance, the paper that we submitted to middle uh, are paper that we thought uh, could have made it in CVPR or in Mikai, but uh, we, we, we still decided to submit it to, to, to middle, uh, uh, although there were other deadlines around the corner. So uh, uh, do not hesitate to submit uh, your best work. And I believe it's going to be uh, competitive and the number of papers will uh, increase further uh, the next year, the submitted papers. So I think this is pretty much it. Uh, uh, I don't know whether Hervé uh, want to add want to add something, but uh, uh, yes, so uh, hope to see you in Montreal next year. The video, yes, the video, we worked so Yeah, I think this is the pressure because I forgot the most important part, the video. We worked so hard on it. All right, so, so this is a video uh, of uh, the surrounding of the Palais des Congrès, okay? Um, then there is a little bit of uh, pictures about Palais de Congrès, and then one of the rooftops. All right, again, hope to see you next year in Montreal. Thanks. Uh, it's exciting to see uh, middle and new hands and should be an amazing um, follow-up conference. Uh, so with that, I think we're done if I just uh, so this is really now the official close of the of the conference uh, so thank you everyone we're very much uh, welcoming feedback it's a very young conference so we need uh, your feedback your comments your suggestion uh, so there's an email address here we will also be sending out uh, a feedback form in the in the coming days uh, so stay tuned with that well have a safe trip back <laughs>